Here is the light pole that we're going to be working on. The switch, the photo sensing switch, doesn't seem to be working, so we're going to take it off and replace it from a part that we purchased from Lowe's just yesterday. You can replace these things. First, we got to turn off this circuit breaker that powers the garage, I believe. I'm going to try to turn that off now and make sure there's no electricity being sent to that post. There, I located the circuit breaker. I turned it off. Now I just want to test the outlet and make sure that there's no electricity there. I have a circular saw plugged in to the outlet just to make sure it doesn't start if I turn it on here. And Sean's joining me today. He's going to help me replace this. He's recording his own video as you can tell. So the first thing we need to do, Sean, see these screws here? They're Phillips head screws. See those? Mm -hmm. See them? We've got to take those two screws off. Okay, so Sean, we need to find a Phillips head screwdriver. Here are the tools. Well, we're ready for back. Right we're here? Ready to go get the tools. Right here are the tools. I want you to find me a Phillips head screwdriver. What does that look it's like? It's probably going to look like that. See, it's got a cross tip, but that might be a little bit small. We grab that, grab that, yeah, grab that, would you? All right, look at that, guys. There we go, armed with the screwdriver. I got the correct part at Lowe's. I had to return the old part because it was wrong, but here's the correct part. There's the light we're working on. The power's off in the garage. I've already pulled the screws out. And here we go. You just pull that out and disconnect this cord and connect the new one. And we hope it'll work. After I disconnected the sensing switch, the photo switch, I loosened the screws above here and I'm pulling this off and exposing the connection. The wiring is actually fairly simple. We've got three wires that go on to come in from the garage. And you got a black, a white, and a ground. And those connect to this unit. And actually, they also connect to the top. So we've got a ground. This is going to connect to our red terminal on the new one and this is going to connect to the or black. So we'll see what we can do. We'll see if we can get this thing to work. Here's the new part. I'm going to poke this in the hole and feed it up through the top so that I can splice the wires together along with those wires and we should be good to go. Okay, I just connected all the wirings. You might want to consult with an electrician. I actually called uh, my brother-in-law who's a electrician just to double check make sure I had everything wired up correctly. Incoming power going through the switch and down into the light and here's Here's the return going back through the switch. And then there's the hot going to the to the light. So now I just need to turn on the power and cover up my switch here for about five minutes and see if the lights come on. And look at that. Job well done. The lights are on. So it looks like I did it. Now it's time to button it together and call it a day.